Well, well uh, tell us about what was it like to be a part of a match like that, a high level, two great teams, and uh, you played your best match already, 19 kills as a night. What was it like to be a part of it? I imagine that's why you came here, one of the reasons. Yeah, um, I've never been a part of such a positive environment, and feeding off of the crowd is, I feed off of that a lot, but I know the team does too. And when we were down, we came together and we were like, hey, we need to play as a team. It was nothing negative about it. It was like, these are our jobs that we need to do and do them to the best of your ability. So when someone might not be having the best night, other people can pick up the slack. And then if I'm not having a good night, I know my teammates are gonna do the same thing for me. And so just, I can't even really describe what it feels like to play on a team like this because it just, it volley joy is how I would describe it. Like. It's fun. It's really fun, and I haven't been able to say that for a while, so I'm really, truly blessed that I get to be a part of this program. You ended up tied with McKenna for the most kills in the match, but you had a 516 attack percent. Practically every other shot, you were landing the kill. Can you just talk about that kind of that, that one-two dynamo that you had going with McKenna? Um, first of all, Amber did literally such an amazing job giving us the ball. I, it was honestly all her. When she puts us in a position like that and she keeps the blockers on the other side of the net on their toes, it makes our job easier. She was leaving us with one-on-one -on -one blocks all night, so I accredit um, both M McKenna and I's kills a lot to Amber. I mean, McKenna's just a stud all the time. And so I know when other positions can come out and help her take care of that load, it's gonna make us harder to scout in the future. So, I mean, I think Amber and Mac um, did a really good job at that. Speak to Amber Olson because she re she runs the whole show off and set you up beautifully mm -hmm. at times there. Talk about what what how easy it makes it for you to have somebody like Amber mm -hmm. and her greatness there, her passing. Something I love about Amber is um, so against K State against this set I came out with a couple errors in the first couple sets and Amber is so consistent with what she says to me and how she gives me the ball. She's like, no problem, I'm gonna come right back to you. I know how good you are. No problem, like I can make errors. And I know that she's still gonna give me opportunities to score. And I think that's a very mature setter. And I'm really grateful for that. And she does it effortlessly. She is a very constant in this program. We can all look to her times when we're riding high, times when we're riding low, and she's gonna be steady right there. She is the rock of the team. And I think we can, having a setter who's like a quarterback in that moment, she runs the show and she does it beautifully. And I know a lot of times setters don't, you know, get all the attention because people are getting kills, but without Amber, we, we would not have these kills. She put us in a beautiful, beautiful position to score, and I credit all that to her. Can you, can you take me through those final two sets? You know, you had that set number three, 45% side out, and how do you rebound after that third set to be able to take the win? We came together, and the biggest thing that we did was we came together and I said, me and McKenna were like, hey, that was not UCF volleyball. Um, we play the best when we play as a team, which we do 99.999% of the time. And I think that set maybe just got us off guard a little bit and we were playing a little bit as individuals. And then when we said that and we came back together and we were like, hey, we need to play as a team, that's when we do our best. And I think that was the flip, is we really relied on each other. All right, I got one. Where does this rank within your best matches of your career? Um, this so far is the best match of my career. And I'm, I'm just so blessed that, you know, God gave me an opportunity to come here and that, um, you know, the coaches here took a chance on me because, you know, I don't have the most astounding past record and the fact that I have people here who support me outside of the gym is just like a beautiful thing and that I think in a healthy environment you see people soar and I think that's a product of what's happening right now. You've spoken about the positivity you've had experience, experiencing with this team. You said it on social media as well. How how happy are you to be able to have that positivity here? And then, of course, speak to and does that extend to the crowd, which was the second largest in this facility's history, regular season wise? Yeah, um, it's just such a beautiful thing. I I don't have words for it, and it might be like, oh my gosh, she's so dramatic, but um, it's just. I don't really have words for it. The team is so loving and they just accept you for who you are. And I think when you're in a position to be comfortable on and off the court with literally every single teammate and with the staff, um, you become the best version of yourself as an athlete and as a person. You know, um, my team is always there for me and we're always there for each other. I've never been on a team where, I, where we mesh so well. There's not one person who 
I wouldn't trust to be on the court with me, nor would I not want to hang out with outside of the court. All of us, and I think when we move as a unit, we play the best, and that's what's happening, as well as the coaches. You know, McKenna talked about kind of how we goof off during practice, and a lot of the times coaches can snap at that and be like, hey, we need to be serious, we need to be mature. But I think them giving us a little bit of that leash to be ourselves in practice as well is what, um, when you get the best product out of us. Two more. All right, um, you, you, you go up against UIC tomorrow. They upset Miami yesterday. What lessons from today do you want to take with you when you face UIC tomorrow? Um, serve and pass, serve and pass. That's the name of the game. That's our volleyball. That's when we play our best. Um, they're super scrappy. Their defense is great. So I think it's definitely going to be another challenge. We can't overlook it at all. And we knew that this weekend every opponent was going to be like this. So I think the most important thing is getting rest, new mindset. I know a lot of the times when teams punch big and come out with a huge win, um, might be a little lackadaisical the next day, but we already addressed that and we know that that's not going to be an issue. And I think we'll come back with the same exact energy tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you, Kari. Thank you. Thank you.